I am here with Professor Salvi Shak, gastroenterologist at the Dudley Group NHS Foundation Trust, also affiliated with Birmingham City University. We are here to discuss his recent article, Water Assisted Colonoscopy, an International Modified Delphi Review on Definitions and Practice Recommendations. It's published in Gastrointestinal Endoscopy. Professor Ishak, congratulations on this publication, first of all. Why did you feel there was a need to do this study? Oh, thank you. First and foremost, I express uh, my heartfelt appreciation for all uh, our co-authors on this study for their dedicated contribution over the last three years, their guidance and support to successfully completing this study. Uh, despite water-assisted colonoscopy and underwater mucosal resection being hailed as innovative uh, approaches, uh, there were certain concerns raised by non-practitioners of uh, water-assisted techniques. The first such concern was the distinction between water immersion and water exchange uh, colonoscopy techniques. As uh, the, each technique is different, hence the different outcome. Additionally, the main results of water-assisted colonoscopy techniques are reported by the same uh, core group of experts. The second concern was that historically non-pedunculated lesions such as sessile and flat were removed with submucosal lifting, but in underwater colonoscopy, no submucosal lifting is required. This perhaps was assumed as less safe uh, than conventional uh, techniques used. We felt such concerns revealed misconception in definition of water immersion and water exchange techniques and safety of endoscopic mucosal resection. Such confusion possibly hampered practice diffusion and interpretation of uh, research findings. To address these valid concerns uh, led us to conduct a modified Delphi consensus among experienced colonoscopists. Uh, on definition and practice of water immersion and water exchange uh, techniques and underwater mucosal resection. The importance of our study is that for the first time, uh, experts in conventional colonoscopy and water-assisted colonoscopy shared the same consensus platform, uh, uh, reviewed uh, and critiqued uh, the evidence which was presented to them as a single comprehensive document. What method was used in your study? Well, the major da databases were searched related to water-assisted colonoscopy and underwater mucosal resection, and pertinent references were graded. Evidence-based statements were then provided to the respondents. The participants in Modified Delphi included 55 uh, experienced colonoscopists from 16 countries who were experts and non-experts in water-assisted colonoscopy. A voting was conducted anonymously in the second and the third round, with 80% agreement defined as consensus. What does your study add to existing knowledge? Well, although uh, consensus was achieved in 11 statements, I would like to discuss and emphasize the three most important ones. The first one was the water exchange and water immersion colonoscopy techniques are not the same in implementation and in their outcome. In water immersion colonoscopy, water is infused to facilitate scope progression and sequel intubation. Gas insufflation may be used as needed during insertion. Most of the infused water is aspirated during withdrawal, and withdrawal is as per conventional colonoscopy and is carried out uh, by using gas insufflation to distend the lumen for inspection. On the other hand, Water exchange colonoscopy is a standardized insertion technique in which infused water is removed simultaneously, mainly during insertion, as the name says, exchange water in, water out. This allows progression of the scope in a clear water without gas insufflation and removing all the residual air pockets, trying to achieve the best possible colon cleanliness. Uh, if done correctly, when in cecum, uh, the water infused and water aspirated is more or less the same. Withdrawal is, as per conventional colonoscopy, is carried out with using gas insufflation to distend the lumen for uh, inspection. So the second statement was the water exchange uh, is superior to water immersion and conventional colonoscopy in significantly reducing uh, the procedure pain and increasing adenoma detection rate. And the third statement was, was the underwater mucosal resection 
without submucosa lifting of uh, large and small colorectal uh, sessile and flat lesions is feasible based on the available data and can achieve even better outcome than conventional resection. What should come next? Well, publication of these statements will disseminate the fact that water-assisted colonoscopy, particularly water exchange technique, improves key colonoscopy performance indicators such as sequel intubation rate, procedural pain, and adenoma detection rate. Such outcome, we hope, will improve practice diffusion. Secondly, the accepted definition of water immersion and water exchange have been agreed upon by a group of experienced colonoscopists, both experts and non-experts in water-assisted colonoscopy. This will help in interpretation of the research findings and will provide invaluable tool for designing future studies. Thirdly, the result of this modified Delphi will allow colonoscopists to correctly apply water immersion and water exchange technique in clinical practice depending on the outcome they want to achieve. The correct application will allow tailoring procedure to the patient, optimizing safety, comfort, and efficiency. And finally, more randomized control trials are needed to confirm the superiority of underwater mucosal resection without submucosal lifting over conventional resection in gas-filled lumen. Thank you, Professor Saadi Shah.